Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. I told you I'm back on my grind shit. So, you know what, I'm just smashing out another video for you. Um, and I've been liking this so far. I've been really enjoying it. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, you know, like, I just love movies. And I've been enjoying doing these opinions, sort of videos, reviews. Um, I might get back into trailer reactions again. Because I remember back in the day, that used to get a lot of views. Like, I remember one video got like... It was a reaction to the Dark Knight Rises trailer. And that got like 10,000 views, whatever. So, I don't know. I'm just going to get back into um, movie-related movie, movie related videos and all that sort of shit. So, keep an eye out on the channel. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be doing this video. It's kind of like a comparison video. going to be comparing the um, the two Pennywises, um, the 1990 miniseries one uh, with Tim Curry, and the 2017 uh, feature film with um, Bill Skarsgård. Now, I've already seen a few videos like this on YouTube, and I thought it'd be good if I do this video, because I'm not going to be repeating what others said, because I actually disagree with the majority of people and what they think, and I know when people are going to watch this video, they're going to get fucking mad, and they're going to fucking type on their keyboards and be like, dislike, you know what, you can stay fucking mad, you can yell at your laptop all you fucking want, man. You know what, well, I'm just living my life, man. And if you don't like my opinion, just go and fuck yourself. Dislike the video for all I care. But yeah, I'm just going to be expressing my opinion. If you like it, cool, man. Thanks. But um, you know what, just fucking deal with it if you don't like it. So, so let's just get right into it. I'm just going to start out, before I get into the whole Pennywise shit, I just want to give you my thoughts on the mini series and the movie. Um, so with the mini series, I like when I was a kid, I was scared of it because I was really young and Tim Curry gave me nightmares. And I remember vividly back when I was like 10 or something. Um, I, I, after I watched the movie, I was, I was at a friend's house. Um, I had this, this friend and she was a bit older me and my brother used to sleep over at her house. She was like in her forties or fifties, and she would um like she would babysit us and she let us watch horror movies. And her name was Marish. And I just remember one night we like watched Twilight Zone, and we just went on like that was that was kind of like a horror slash sci-fi. But we ended the night with it, and I just remember this night so vividly. I was so scared. We slept in her bedroom. And for some reason, she let me, like, sleep on the edge of the bed. And so I was, like, on the edge. My brother was sleeping in the middle, the lucky fucker. You know, because when you're scared, you like to sleep in the middle. So you're not you're not on the end of the bed. So, you, you like, if, you, if you're if you scared or something, you, like, when you're a kid, like, what I was thinking was, oh, shit, you know, Pennywise might come and get me and drag me out of my bed or some shit. And sorry about that. Just sometimes... I've got to go off camera and just spit this mucus out of my throat. Because at the moment, I'm a bit sick with a flu. I'm sorry about that. But I just thought I'd let you guys know. Because you might be thinking, what the fuck's he doing? Why does he keep on going off camera? I'm not going to spit on camera. Because you guys will just get fucking sick. And go, Ugh! Like, sort of shit. <laughs> oh, that was just cringe. Uh, sorry about that. But, yeah, I'm just trying to be considerate of you guys. So, I'm not going to fucking go on the fucking camera. And then you're like, Ugh! sort of thing. And then fucking dislike. Um, you know, so I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to piss you off like that or make you sick. So I just remember that night so vividly. It was like so scary. Um, even though like Tim Curry was so comedic, like just when I was a kid, that just scared me, you know? Um, especially that Georgie, um, death scene, like it, like just the whole movie scared me. But when I was a kid, I remember I absolutely hated the ending with the big spider, even when I was a kid, I hated it, you know. Um, I just thought it looked really stupid. And, you know what, I was so scared of the clown, I didn't want the spider, you know. I just wanted to see more of the clown. I was like, the ending should have been with the clown. But um, the spider just looked so shit. And I remember that when I was a kid as well. But now now that I'm older, when I look back at it, the miniseries is pretty fucking shit. Um, 
it's just really, I don't know, because it's a mini series and it's such low budget, there's not much they could do with it. There's not much creative scares they can do with it. Um, the only thing I really like about the mini series is the children actors. I thought they did a pretty good job. And I thought the best thing about the mini series, though, is Tim Curry's Pennywise, hands down. Um, that's he's the the only reason I go back and watch that mini series. I've watched it like thirty to forty times or something like that, like a high number. I just love Tim Curry's performance. And you know what? I just skim through it to find all the best scenes with Tim Curry, and you know, and watch the kids, you know, as well. I, I like the children actors back then; they were really good. Um, but the movie, you know what? It is better than the mini series, easy, easily better. Um, I know just the scares are better in the movie, um, better effects, and the children actors are better in that as well. The chemistry is better. Um, and I thought they did the adults better in the um, in the movie as well because I don't know just in the miniseries they're just a bit corny. Um, well, in the movie in the movie they're a bit more intense, a bit more full on. Like in the movie, Bev's um, father he is more like I don't know. He just has this more of a like I don't know he has this sexual vibe about him. Like in the um, in the miniseries, he's just abusive, but in this one, you know, he's, like, just doing really creepy shit, and you know that he's done shit to her, like, you know, he's, um, you know, raped her and all that sort of shit. You can just, you can just tell, and he's just really creepy, just the adults and everything, they're more creepy, and I thought they did Henry Bowers better in the movie as well, um, you know, so I thought they did all that shit good, you know, um, but this is not about that. I just wanted to give out my thoughts on all that stuff before I get into the Pennywise stuff so you guys know my sort of, like, where I'm coming from and all that, you know? So, yeah. So that, that that's all that. But the most important thing, I think, is the Pennywise. Um, you know, all that other stuff is cool and all, but, you know, Pennywise is the most important. And I want to give you my opinion on why I think Tim Curry is the better Pennywise so, um, I just think Bill Skarsgård's performance is really good. It is good, but I think it's really overrated though. Um, and I kind of think it's, I don't, I don't know how people can say this movie's like terrifying or scary. Now that I look back at it, the mini series isn't scary at all. I laugh when I watch that, but that's my same reaction when I watch the movie as well. I just laugh because it's just so over the top, um, I don't know, it's just like, it's not scary, it's just like, the way, um, Bill Skarsgård's acting, it is really over the top, and I couldn't, I couldn't take him serious, um, it wasn't, it wasn't scary to me, like, there's a scene where, you know, um, he's waving a dead arm, and it's just like, that shit's funny to me, it's not terrifying, but I've seen, like, so many reviews, or Facebook posts, saying, oh my god, this movie's so terrifying, it's one of the most scariest movies of all time, and I'm just thinking, how, which, which scene was so terrifying, that, you know, you feel like this, like, name something, I don't know, no scenes did that to me, um, yeah, it just wasn't scary, uh, I think it's overrated as well, because, you know, Bill Skarsgård, he did a good job, but he didn't have his moment to shine, like, this is what I felt like. When I watched the first scene, right, with Georgie, the Georgie death scene, it was amazing. I was like, wow, this movie's going to be fucking awesome. And my jaw my jaw, my jaw, jaw dropped because I was just amazed with how perfect that scene was. It was better than the miniseries Georgie death scene. And that, that scene was iconic. And this one was even better. I just thought Bill Skarsgård acted that perfect. And, you know, seeing, like, Georgie's arm get, like, bitten off and all that was just perfect. Because I didn't know going into it if it was going to be, like, that gory or not. Because, you know, they wanted to get some of the young kids into it. And they definitely earned that R rating. But but here in Australia, it's MA15+. plus. But I know there in America, it's R rated. And I thought that was amazing. But long longer the movie went on, I just felt like, I don't know... Bill Skarsgård didn't have any more of those moments. I just felt more and more disappointed, to be honest. Like, I feel like the longer the movie went on, it was, like, after that Georgie scene, I, I thought back at it, and it was like, 
I love the Georgie death scene because it's Bill Skarsgård's acting. He had his moment of shine there. Um, but um, in other scenes with Pennywise, it's CGI because all these, all the members of the Losers, the Losers Club, I'm getting a bit tongue twisted here, sorry. All the members of the Losers Club, they all have different fears and he's trying to manifest all those different fears. So he turns into a flute lady, which didn't really look that creepy, to be honest. Um, um, he turns into a leper, and that scene just made me laugh so hard. Um, yeah, when he um, meets... Um, who is it again? Uh, which one is it? The one with asthma. I forgot his name. I should remember this shit, though. What the fuck? What's his name again? Eddie, isn't it? I think it's Eddie. Um, sorry, my... I just woke up, so I'm not thinking too... My memory's not too good at the moment. But I'll try my best with this video. So, like... You know, just, like, some of these fears, they weren't scary at all. And I don't know, it was just... I know, it was just the movie was over... It just had way too much CGI. Um, and I know, I just wish there was more scenes of just Bill Skarsgård's acting... And I don't. I just feel like he didn't have his time to shine in that movie. Hopefully, in the sequel, he has more of those moments, like the Georgie Death scene, where it's just his acting ability and not the fucking um, CGI. And like that's why that's why I say he's overrated because all the credits gone to Bill Skarsgård, but what about the CGI team? They they created those visuals. You know, Bill Bill Skarsgård didn't. You know. The only scene, like, I really give credit to Bill Skarsgård for is the Georgie Death scene, because that was, like, 90% him, his acting, and then the last 10% was the bit when Georgie's arm gets ripped off and his head fucking could torts and all that sort of shit. So, yeah, and I feel like, you know, Tim Curry's performance is better, and this is, and this is why, right? Because he did it in the 1990s with a smaller budget, like, way smaller than the movie and he had less shit to work with you know it was just his acting you know he didn't have those cgi effects he didn't have any of that crap and he's still scared like he scared me when i was younger and his performance is that iconic it's still talked about till this day it's been like two decades or some shit you know it's been a really long time it's been 27 years since the, the original miniseries and now the movie, and people are still talking about Tim Curry's performance. Like, that's in the top two best Tim Curry performances ever. Pennywise and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. You know, um, yeah, I, I just think his performance is better because of that, you know. Less shit to work with, just his acting ability, and he didn't need CGI to do it, you know. But Bill Skarsgård, you know, he needed CGI and all that shit, and... It wasn't really... There wasn't much of his acting in the movie. You know, and just... Like, I know, like... Like, Tim Curry's performance is really corny. And, you know, cheesy and all that. But that's what he did, right? He did that to... Um, to be... That's bait for the kids, right? He wants them to trust him. And with Bill Skarsgård's performance, I just couldn't... I couldn't believe it, you know? It wasn't believable to me. Because he's just so weird. And, uh, like, if I was a kid, I definitely wouldn't trust him, you know? It's just, like, way too over the top. Like, with his talking as well, and just the voice he was doing, it just wasn't... Uh, it's just... It's it's a weird voice, and I know a kid wouldn't trust that. And, um, you know, like... Yeah, just his voice was way too over the top, and... A lot of the time, I couldn't actually understand what he's saying. Like, I wish there was some subtitles or something, because, I don't know, he was, like, he was putting a lot of emphasis on his voice, and, I don't know, it was just, like, all over the place. And, like, there's just so many scenes that I laughed instead of being scared. And, you know, I should have been at least scared once, because this is, like, a movie done in um, 2017, and you got more, like, effects and all that stuff, and just didn't happen, you know, like Annabelle Creation, that movie had me on the edge of my seat, and Get Out, that was a sus suspenseful movie as well, so, um, I was kind of just disappointed with this movie, you know, because, you know, I've seen so many good horror movies this year, and this movie just didn't live up to that, that level, 
But I'd say this movie is a fucking brilliant, like, dark comedy, though. I wouldn't say it's a brilliant horror movie, but it's definitely a brilliant uh, dark comedy because I just laughed so much. Like, the waving of the dead arm, you know, when he's dancing for Beverly. That shit's not terrifying. If you're watching that scene, you're like, oh, my God, that's so scary. Oh, my God, he's fucking dancing. You're a fucking idiot. That's not scary. It's just like, it's so ridiculous and looks so goofy, you know. You're saying Tim Curry's more corny? That shit's corny, the way he's dancing. And when he runs, like, there's a scene when um, Bill goes down into the cellar um, and he runs at him, right? Um, it's just like so... Just the run looks so stupid and I was just laughing so much. Um, I don't know, maybe that was their goal, was to make the character so silly and goofy. He, he kind of reminded me of Jim Carrey's Grinch. You know, at times, it's just like that ridiculous, just like way over the top acting, way over the top effects. Like, I just couldn't take him serious at all. And I think Tim Curry's better hands down. But anyway, that's my opinion. I hope that made sense. Um, but yeah, that's all. And if you fucking hate this video, fucking do it, man. Here's a fucking Kleenex. Oh, Bill Skarsgård was so amazing. He deserves an Oscar. Fuck, he deserves to be on the next Grinch movie. That's what I think. He should be the next Grinch. Fucking, he can do that fucking... Run on fucking Grinch for, I care. But still, I'm not hating on him. He did a great performance, I thought. Um, it was really funny. You know, the movie's better than the miniseries, but the miniseries has the better Pennywise. And that's all, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye.